Apa? It's a longer way, but it's a safe way. You and Haas and Joe take that route all the time. <laughs> yes, we do. So will you when you've had more experience. This is the first time you've taken a wagon this big. I'll be leaving for Beaver Camp in about an hour. I'll see you there.
quick trip. I thought you was going to be gone for three days. Take the plans. What's that all about? Take a look over there. You all right, Jamie? I'll take care of Pepper. Start packing. I'll leave right away. And what? Uh, leave right away. I expect I can get out to the road and catch a ride on a freight wagon before dark. Yes, I expect you can. Don't want to hang around where I'm not wanted. Not that I blame you. I, I, I did what you told me not to. And I, I got a good horse killed. And I set up a wagon. Now, you, you tell me how much that horse and wagon costs, and, and I swear to you, I'll, I'll send you the money just as soon as I can. Where do you plan to go? A lot of places. Did you figure I was sending you away? Sure, I can't do what I... Wrong. I'm leaving on a pack trip early tomorrow. I want you to come along with me. We'll be gone several days. Pack trip? What about what I did today? We'll get to that. Yes, sir.
country, beyond the timber here. And we got the fenced in range, the East Branch. All right, down this way. Thank you. It's awfully quiet, Jamie. Cat got your tongue? Uh, just waiting, I guess. Find out what your punishment's going to be for what you did yesterday? That's about it. What do you think it ought to be? Well, some of the kids at school get a belt used on them when they do something wrong. Mm -hmm. Of course, that's for kid stuff. What I did was worse, much worse. Did you wreck that wagon deliberately? No, sir, of course not. It was an accident. Yes, sir. Expensive, but still an accident. You did disobey. Yes, sir, I sure did. So what we're concerned with is the punishment for disobedience. Yeah. Uh, if we use that strap that you're talking about, we wouldn't be able to sit in the saddle. We've got a long ride ahead of us. Maybe we'll figure something out in the way. Unless you have an idea now. No, I ain't got any. I think you're gonna like that East Branch spread. That Betsy Rush makes the best pie in the territory. Horses. A bunch of horses. How many, Jamie? Well, four horses. All right. What else did you see? Well, they were going in the same direction as we're going, but they they turned out there. Mm-hmm. Doesn't that sound like somebody chopping? Yes, it does. But have a look.
you doing? Piling rocks. Not that it's any of your business, but when I get that done, I'm going to fill me a fool. And divert this stream? You got it, mister. Move the creek away from the gravel bar so as I can do my mining in the dry. You're going to pack up and move out. Now, this is my claim. Who are you to be telling me to get out? I'm Ben Cartwright. So what's that mean? It means I own this place. Now, I got a map that says this is government land. Open to anybody who wants to stake a claim. On private property, and you know it. Jumping our claim, we'll have the law on you. You have no claim on anything here. You're on Ponderosa property. Ponder what? Save it, Kale. You're talking to the boss, Rooster. That's Ben Cartwright. What I heard, I thought it'd be as big as a mountain. But he ain't. I'll bet he can be hurt just like anybody else. Now stop thinking. of the timber, following the Feather Creek. Guess I'd better ride up that way more often. Oh, I'm forgetting my manners, letting the boss man stand around here. Uh, Betsy, good to see you. Mr. Cartwright? Uh, brought a new hand here. I see. Jamie, this is Mr. and Mrs. Rush. Hi, nice to meet you. Hello, Jamie. Glad to know you. Well, I expect you're hungry. This time, Clint, we, we're way behind schedule. Still have a long way to go. Oh, uh, hey, uh, three months' pay. Make out a list of the things you need, and I'll pick it up on the way back. All right, I'll have it ready. All right. Will you excuse me, Mr. Cartwright? Nice to see you again, Betsy. Who's uh that look pretty good. Yeah. With the care and feed they've been getting, there's no reason why they shouldn't. Well, trying to improve the breed is always a gamble. I think this is going to pay off. It's paying off now. There's only two scrubs in the last calf crop. Another two or three generations will tell the story. Oh, you'll be seeing Bill Cooper. Say hello for me. Be glad to. Gets lonely here. But his job, that had me talking to the squirrels. Now listen, those uh, prospectors came back once. They might try it again. I'll be on the lookout. You two hurry back. Oh. Let's go, Jamie. I'll be seeing you, Jamie. All right, bye-bye.
See that stone you got your foot on? Has a cross cut to the top of it. It's a section corner. Marks the east line of the Ponderosa. Now, this scarred tree here behind you, it's a witness tree. Tells you where the cornerstone is, just in case it gets covered up. Oh, I see. Uh, this, uh, Bill Cooper. Where do we find him? He's at the South Camp. A two days ride from here. You know, Bert Rush wanted us to come in, but his wife didn't. What he supposed was wrong? I have no idea. Hmm. Trouble of some kind. Well... If it'd been ranch trouble, I think Clint would have told me. In fact, I'm sure he would have. Family problems are personal. And don't mix into them. Oh, yeah, I know. I... Well, all I was going to say is that this jerky sure don't taste like that apple pie you told me about. <laughs> <laughs> you sure don't. Yep. Yeah. We got a real pretty ride ahead of us. Could be an easy one, too. All right. Time to ride. Time. I hope I'm welcome here. Any man can walk into my lodge now. How can I stop them? But you are welcome. I'm sorry to find you sick. My heart is sorry you came when my granddaughter hunted your beef. Did she miss? No. She shot true and straight. And with a rifle as old as yours, that's no small thing. Our oh, white squirrel is the, the true granddaughter of Tall Pony. Did she choose a good animal? Yes. With good fat on the ribs? Yes, a young steer, a lot of that. You are the granddaughter of a chief. You did well. She only did what she was told to do. I am the real hunter. <laughs> what will you do now? We'll help White Squirrel dress out the beef. Bring it here and hang it up. You'll eat a lot of fat and get well and strong. Well, there's no way I can pay you. When you get well, you will hunt the mountain lion and the wolves that kill our calves and foals. Well, even if I could hunt, I could not shoot. My gunpowder is gone. 
bullets into a rifle and shells and some flour and salt and some blankets. I see your son. I'll send him back to you. He will only leave again. Yes, it's possible. Well, come on, let's tend to that beef. See why I let that old Indian have the ponderosa beef? You know him and the girl being hungry and all. But, but sending him a rifle and shells isn't that asking for it? What would you've done? Well, I mean that Indian is pretty old and sick to be hunting mountain lion and wolves, and, and that girl sure ain't big enough or strong enough to help him. Oh, well, you may be right. Yeah, and, and if he can't earn the wolf bounty, then. We just may use the rifle to kill some more ponderosa beef. Yeah, it's possible. <laughs> Why are you sending him the rifle? He may have known that old man for a long time. He may have known he'd kill ponderosa beef only if he needed it to stay alive. And if that happens... Then I consider it partial payment and the debt I owe. What about that old Indian son? Why doesn't he help him? He's become a town Indian. Quite a taste for whiskey. Stays drunk most of the time. Can't keep a job long enough to earn the money to pay for the whiskey, so he begs. That's plain awful. It's part of a plain, awful pattern. We destroyed a proud people. That's the dead I was talking about. We all of us share it. Or ought to. Cash should have had the Ponderosa brand, not the Fox D. That's right. Hey, somebody's stealing your 
calves. Well, I don't know if Arlo and Charlie would agree with you. I think you're right. Arlo and Charlie? Yeah, Crap Brothers. They own the box tea. Mind up, young'un. <laughs> This was a south camp. It is. Two saddled horses. Looks like the Trap brothers are calling on Bill Cooper. They'll come in from the back. stubborn people in my life, but he has got to be the worst. Why don't you talk at him? Been too much talk already. company, but I'm sure glad to see you two. Now, Mr. Cartwright, this ain't like it appears. Uh, old Bill Cooper over there, he's got some funny ideas, and we're just trying to reason with him. They've been talking, but not to me. And now, what he's going to try and tell you, Mr. Cartwright, is that we was branding your calves with my goonies. We wouldn't do that. That'd be stealing. Ain't that right, baby brother? That's right. I mean, what we was doing, Mr. Cartwright, you see, is we was branding strays. And everybody knows that ain't stealing. That's Mavericking, and there ain't nothing wrong with that. I saw two of your box tea Mavericks following Ponderosa cows. Trying to get acquainted, was he? No. Following the mothers who were Ponderosa calves. You don't suppose we should have made a mistake? It was 26 by my count, Mr. Cartwright. He must have branded them while I was billing things. I bet it was one of our hard hands. <laughs> you ain't had but one hard hand, and he quit you six months before them calves was born. Now, Mr. Cartwright, you don't think for one minute... We'll let the judge do the thinking, Harlow. Well, come on, we got a long way to go. Let's get started. <laughs> You got to admit, we didn't harm a hair on old Cooper's head. I mean, we just kind of tied him up in there so as he wouldn't get mad and commence to thrashing around and hurt himself while we was talking. Talking about which one was going to pull the trigger and which one was going to dig a grave. All right, move out. <laughs> now, I mean, you know, that that's not true. I mean, we wouldn't have... Uh, uh, harmed a hair on his head. I mean, he just ain't got no sense of humor. You know, I mean, the uh, trouble with him is a man lives by himself as long as he does. He just naturally gets mean and, and suspicions everybody. And, and ain't that right, baby brother? That's right. Come to think of it, it was it was raining uh, mighty hard that day. We couldn't hardly uh, 
keep the uh, fires going and, and the branding irons hot. I mean, uh, it'd been easy to make a mistake about which calf he was putting a branding iron on. 26 mistakes. You know, uh, Cooper and us have been neighbors for a long time, you know. Uh, y you know, it's the mark of a big man to, to forgive and forget. Appears like uh, somebody left it open. I didn't see area a cow. You, you had quite a big herd here, didn't you, Mr. Cartwright? Move on. You know what? That's what happens. A fella gets worried about a couple little old scrawny calves and... Next thing you know, somebody done run off with his whole herd of prime beef. I haven't ever time like that, you know. it up again, but uh, that rain, I mean, it was a pure D gully washer. And all them little calves was mired down in that mud. Their mamas was nowhere in sight. They was orphans, mavericks. And I said to brother, I said, brother, it's our bounden duty to take care of them poor little calves. You sure you wouldn't like a cold beer, Mr. Cartwright? You, it's about the coldest beer in, in the whole territory. No, don't suppose you would. Why don't you shut up? Now, now, brother, you ain't got no call to talk to me like that. It's like I said, Mr. Cartwright. I mean, it was raining so hard, you, you couldn't hardly see your hand in front of your face. Tell me, we weren't really stealing. You were saying? Been here before, they know their way. It's been a busy day. I got a friend of yours in there, Ben. Clint Rush. Drunk, disorderly, disturbing a piece. Yeah, Betsy. It's Cartwright. Yeah, I thought I saw you sitting here when we rode in. Uh, you remember Jamie? Yes, you were at the ranch. Uh, Jamie may not look it, but uh, he's hollow to the heels. He's, uh, he's going to give himself a sandwich and a piece of pie. It was good to see you, man, if you'll excuse me. Mind if I sit down? No, no, not at all. Good just to sit. 
When's the stage due? Oh, uh, 15 minutes, maybe an hour. Hmm? The uh, agent didn't even want to make a guess. Hmm. Nice day to travel. Yes. I I'm going to visit my folks. On oh, Carson City? Mm-hmm. My, uh, my, my father's getting on in years, and, well, I, I thought it would be a good idea to see him before it got too late. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know your father. He's about my age. Mr. Cartwright, I didn't mean that. I... What, that we were tottering to the grave? I know that. M my mother hasn't been feeling very well, and... Oh. Mr. Cartwright, I might as well tell you. I'm leaving Clint. Oh, these things happen. I know you've seen him, so if he told you to come talk to me, to ask me to come back, it's not going to do any good. No, not a word. Didn't say a thing. Be a nice change for you in Carson City. Certainly will. And it does get lonely living out in a ranch miles from your nearest neighbor. Hard to get used to. I'm used to it. I was born on a ranch. Oh, we had our squabbles, I guess most married folk do. All the way into town, I was trying to figure out if it was my fault or his fault. Both our faults. It does take two to argue. I left him a note. I was hoping he'd come get me, but... Well, he came to town, all right. He went straight to the saloon. He wasn't looking for me at all. Went to the saloon, he got drunk, he got in a fight, and he got hauled off to jail. And that made up your mind for me. It certainly did. Oh, well, I'm not about to try to change it. <laughs> There uh, are two men in jail with Clint. You know those two fellows who open up the gates and scatter the East Branch herd? Were those the two he was fighting? That's what the sheriff said. Well, they ought to be in jail. Well, how is it, Jamie? Well, despair. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you, Mrs. Rush makes the best pie in the territory. Gonna miss that apple pie when I visit East Ranch next. Guess Clint will, too. You know, there's nothing like freshly baked apple pie cooled in on a windowsill that says, Welcome home. Well, I guess I just better get going. Betsy, have a nice trip. Thank you. Let's go, Jamie. Get your horse, Mr. Rush. Okay, thanks, Jenny.
take my place. I've been at East Ranch too long. If that's what you want. Uh, it ain't always what you want, Mr. Cartwright. Sometimes... Thanks, Jamie. Yes, sir. Better get on out there. Well, 90 days in jail for the prospectors. Six months for the trap with them. What'll happen to their ranch? Bill Cooper will look after it. Oh. Their cattle will graze with the Ponderosa herd. What about Clint Rush? He said he'd be back at the ranch. Yeah, but he said he'd be on the lookout for those miners, too. That's right, he did. Boy, he sure messed up, didn't he? You know, I bet he rode for the hills. Will probably take us two or three days to round a bend. You were saying? I talk too much. Betsy, it's going to be hard to say no to that, but we still have a long way to go. Next time around, I promise. Bye-bye. Stop here for one. 
starting to hum. We got some talking to do, huh? Talking? About a horse I killed and, and a wagon I wrecked. And what kind of punishment I'm gonna get. I thought we decided that you were too old to have your pants worn with a belt. Yeah. When you do something bad, Something wrong. And you gotta pay. I agree with that, Jamie. You break the law, you answer to the courts. Yeah, well, I like the Trap Brothers or, and the Miners. What do you do uh, when an animal gets sick or gets hurt? Take care of them. I recall that. Well, men get sick. Like, like top one. Or they just go playing out the road. You take care of them. You, you don't yell at them or swear at them or fire them. Sometimes I yell them and sometimes I fire them. Clint all but broke his back to make things right again. But how did you know he would? Clint's a good man. An awfully good man. And a good man makes a mistake. He does everything he can to make it right again. Jamie? Have you had a good look at this witness tree? No, not really. I want you to. Huh? Hi, Susan Josie. That's right. They made this swing with you, too? Yes, they have. On various occasions. I'll bet they have. Why don't you put your name there?